Hi everyone, today we're going to demonstrate the lightning surge resistance of the spike guard solenoid in comparison to the Rainbird uh, standard solenoid. We start by applying a 24 volt AC source to the solenoid to measure the amount of current that it's drawing to confirm that it's operating properly. Next, we're going to hit the solenoid with a 20,000 volt surge and see if it can withstand that type of energy. Yeah. So as you can see, the solenoid canister has cracked completely, causing the, the solenoid to fail. We're going to do a uh, resistance check again just to see what, what it looks like, but typically this type of failure would cause a dead short on the station output and uh, cause fuses to blow until the solenoid was replaced. So after, after the lightning surge was applied, we have the canisters cracked and the current draw is about 50% more than it was previously. Uh, the crack in the solenoid canister is going to allow moisture to get into the canister and will eventually cause the coil windings to, to short. The amperage is just going to get higher and higher and higher until eventually the fuses start to blow until the solenoid gets replaced. Again, with the, the initial test of, that's going to be performed on the Toro Spike Guard solenoid is the amperage draw with 24 volts applied. And you can see it is uh, measuring about 0.1 amp, amp of amp. draw. Yeah. Next, we're going to subject it to the same 20,000 volt lightning surge that was, uh, that was applied to the Ringbird sprinkler, and we'll see how it fares. Okay. So after being subjected to four 20,000 volt lightning strike simulations, we're now applying 24 volts across the solenoid, and you can see that we have the exact same current draw of 0.1 amp as we did prior to the test. So no damage to the solenoid after being subjected to four 20,000 volt lightning strikes. And that's it.